Uh, are we not talking about Kess right now? We're talking yeah, about Kess yeah, right not, now. When, Sophie's, when no. um, Hermes put up um, Chris, um, Chrissy O, yeah, yeah, it caught us all by surprise. We spoke on it because it wasn't a name that we had spoken about. We didn't really talk to Adikuli much before he left. But, yeah, but you, don't even, you, don't, you don't even need to say that because we were all on lockdown, bro. Just dead all those yeah, couples. No, people are going to be losing that, jobs like, no. based on yans that no, we don't. No, but I'm not calling anybody's it. name and I'm not telling you nice. how I know it. <laughs> Video, I'm going to be clearing the air on a few things about um, the viewers reaction towards the live nomination process that's one number two I'm gonna be um, unpacking some of the interesting events and conversations that actually happened before and after the live nomination process Two, there's the interesting conversations that was happening in the level one house amongst the housemates guys specifically between Shags and um, Adekunle guys they almost had a one-off they almost had an altercation but it was kind of controlled I'm going to talk about the details of that conversation and number three we're going to be talking about how certain housemates amongst the level two housemates shot themselves in the leg and then automatically got nominated for this week's eviction guys we're going to get into this video now all right and i'll be doing all the unpacking so please as usual watch to the end of this video do not skip one bit so that you don't miss out on anything and um i know that of course you have your own opinion to share so kindly go ahead and express yourself in the comment section below now before i start this just proper let me officially welcome all of you back to my youtube channel you are welcome back my name is glory elijah this is frankly speaking with glory and i am the girl with the tea all right and the tea of this video is what i have just hinted you about so um if you are new on here if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please just do exactly what you see on your screen so that you become a bona fide member of this channel and um, you'll also be able to receive a lot of my videos whenever i upload a new one now um all of that said let's quickly get into the video first things first um let me just address people's should i say castigation of viewers who are actually reacting to the show i think it's quite unfair i mean i was going through my comment section on the video i dropped last night about the head of house challenge and the live nomination process and it was quite interesting to see that a lot of people were just you know complaining that oh why are you people giving yourselves a headache why are people stressing us it's a game at the end of the day um biggie knows what he's doing you people should not even react don't complain don't complain about the head of house game you know, it just it was like they were trying to shut down the feelings the sentiment of the viewers myself included you know and i found it quite offensive because i felt like listen even though this is a reality tv show it is not a reality tv show that invited a bunch of strangers you know to a confined space and then you know tells them that you know what just live your best life and sleep and wake up eat sleep and wake up no it is not just a reality tv show it is a game as well it is a competition that requires these housemates to come with their own a game to come with their strategies you know all of them gone in for uh, an ultimate prize that's the 100 million that we're talking about 50 million in cash 50 million in other prizes well we've not even talked about the the brand endorsements the the, the influencer endorsement that they're gonna get this is a huge deal on a huge platform one of the biggest reality tv shows no no what do you what is one of the biggest it is the biggest reality tv show in africa no caps so this is huge and this is something people don't really understand just as the housemates are inside the house playing their own game the viewers out here we're also kind of playing our own games because we're vouching for people we're vouching for people we're rooting for some of these housemates we're looking forward to seeing how they are going to navigate their way around biggest twists and turns and also around the strategies of their fellow housemates so it's a huge deal for a lot of people and aside that it also brings about that entertainment value you know that just keeps people distracted from the hardships of life and whatever people have to face you know in their daily lives the, the twists and turns of the show this season it's really intense Big Biggie is doing the most. Biggie is shocking everybody. And the, the interesting thing is that even though the organizers, they kind of planned the show from the get-go, so many things that are happening are just happening naturally. It's now beyond the control of the organizers. Most of the things happening on the show, it's beyond the control of even Big Brother himself. And so us the viewers as we are watching we are reacting according to how we are seeing the show and mind you different people have their own different reactions and interpretations to what they see on the show i find it quite hilarious when people come with you know statements like that 
oh white people reacting don't you just look at the show and enjoy it don't even say anything it's a game i'm like okay is it the same way when you're watching football and your your most cherished um, team is not really performing do you just sit down and you're like oh yeah after all it's a game no you see people having high bp because of football you see people having high bp you see people falling down and fainting like guys this is what happens when you are fully emotionally invested in something and people that ninja is a very very addictive show it's one of those shows that when you watch it even though you just started watching it a week ago maybe two weeks ago one way or the other you find yourself reacting to most of the things that you see and there's nothing wrong about it because hey first off you are human you've got emotions you've got feelings coursing through your body through your veins so you feel things and it's okay for you to feel things when you're watching the show so this is an appeal to those people that are judging us please tone it down we are human we feel things and we're enjoying the show and there's absolutely nothing wrong about it now moving on to the conversation that turns to an almost altercation amongst the level one housemates well you don't know that but that's my sure. opinion though, but i'm actually allowed to have my opinion this is my opinion but Groovy looks strong I don't, I, don't, I don't think he did it because he thinks Groovy is strong so, so that's my opinion really i feel like he looks yeah, strong that's but that's my opinion this one is between shags and adekule so apparently shags was upset that Adekunle had actually put up Groovy for nomination for possible eviction last week. We remember, Adekunle was the head of house all through last week, and um, we know how Biggie's rules go, right? Um, the whoever is the head of house title has the nomination privilege, right, of nominating five um, housemates from the other team. Now, one thing that these housemates fail to understand is that they can only advise they can only suggest but they do not have any right to impose their own suggestions on the head of house they can only advise now it is not the prerogative of the head of house to decide to take their advice or not and that was exactly what they couldn't did so i did not really understand why shex decided to take it personal because he was making statements like oh i know that you people don't like me in this house as he was actually sending that message to i know that you don't like me in this house and that's why you keep on nominating groovy to get at me and i'm like bro it's not about you it is not about you at all it's not about you so why on earth are you thinking that you're nominating a particular housemate to get at you how does that even make sense if he was even complaining that okay well, they nominated bella to get her team then that would even be justified but him talking about oh they nominated Groovy to get her team and i'm like oh my god there's no even there's no connection whatsoever here at all so why is this guy trying to make it look like he's really that concerned about Groovy? i mean guys it was so annoying really it was so annoying and Shags just continued yapping his mouth. In fact, even before the head of house games, they had even had a conversation about, you know, um, the head of house choices for nominations. And Shags kept on going on and on about, oh, a good leader would take the suggestions of his people. That um, the head of house should take the suggestions of his fellow housemates. If the head of house does not do so, then it means that person is not a good leader. And I love the question that Dwayne had asked him, that Shags. So let's say, for instance, now, you are head of house and you want to be a good leader and us every single one of us here in level one we instruct you we advise you to nominate bella for for for, for, for eviction would you do so guys the way shells reacted ah oh, the entire household then is one because there was one word he used like he was literally saying that then the entire household is mad that why would they tell him that kind of thing and he was like well that's the point that's the point as the head of house with such a privilege that you have, people can only advise you. They cannot impose their opinion, their suggestions, their preferences on you. That is the power that you have. But Shex kept on annoying. And guys, I'm going to be frank with you. When I hear Shex arguing like that, I, get, I just give up. I'm like, you know what? I'm done with this guy. For me, it's as if he knows that most of his arguments are very, very pointless. Most of his arguments are very, very devoid of intellectual reasoning i'm sorry but i'm not saying he's dumb but i'm just saying that it's like he knows that he's not really making a valid point with his arguments but he would just rather go with it anyways and it makes me feel like okay is this guy just trying to create highlights or what is he just trying to be loud or what is this moving on to the level two house guys i was so excited when i saw amaka and kes amongst the nominated housemates guys the reason is because these two people of all the level two housemates they are the ones that have categorically revealed to big brother and even explained and have been intentional about the explanation and their reading that 
because of the nature of the nomination process that they would rather not put in their best during the head of house challenge yes during the arena task in fact whatever task that has to bring them together with the level one housemates they would hide their talents they will hide their abilities so that the other um, level do not see them as a threat so that the other level um, do not eventually you know say okay we're fine they're strong to avoid dominations so when Kes first you know revealed this to big brother um, during one of his diary sessions i think it was the first or second diary session i felt like okay he might have a point he might have um, something going th on there you know in what he called his strategy and i would love to see how he handles it but then i got really disappointed when the first time they lost second time they lost the head of house games and then the third time they lost i was expecting that okay this fourth time this guy will bring his best foot forward so that at least at least they will win and then they will now have the power to retaliate by nominating back you know amongst the level one housemates but now i was quite disappointed that once again during the head of house challenge last night he still did not really perform amaka as well all through last week i noticed that from time to time she would deliberately flop during task guys i didn't want to mention it so that people will not say that oh glory hates amaka no but it was very obvious that there were times that during presentations she would deliberately flop it up so that it doesn't come across as though oh yeah she's shining too much like fina because already she knows that she's already loud so <laughs> The same thing happened last night during the head of house challenge. Babe was kind of hiding herself. Like she didn't want to give in her best. And it was quite annoying. Consistently breaking the rules of the game during the head of house challenge. And so I was waiting to see if once again they were going to escape um, nominations. But guess what guys? <laughs> Nemesis caught up with them. Kes especially and Amaka especially, they are currently up for nomination for possible eviction this week and it's giving me so much joy. It, it just goes to show that in Biggie's house, you can't hide for too long. Mm -mm. You can't hide because at the end of the season, one housemate will emerge the winner of that 100 million. So no matter what kind of strategy you bring, if you decide you want to be a weakling, trust me at the end of the day your opposing team right they would now think i mean look at ello swag's reasons that oh this one doesn't look like she wants to be in the house or this one looks like she wants to go home the opposing team they will always have a variety of reasons for nominating you so whether you are strong or whether you are weak or you will still be nominated i mean look at the likes of fina look at the likes of brian now they know that okay these people they are strong we've nominated them over and over again and we are wasting our nominations they will constantly be saved so let's just go for other people and that was why they picked the likes of amaka and Kess. just go ahead and let me know your thoughts about all of these things that you have raised in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with gloria elijah have an, have an amazing day bye